In this video I have published a universal white LED driver with a transistor, but I have already explained that we can um, replace the transistor by a resistor. And that's what I've done here in this circuit. Um, here I have replaced the transistor by a resistor and here we have again the six white LEDs. So this is part two from the video. Again a universal white LED driver usable for especially uh, motorcycles, uh, 12 volt motorcycle dynamo and that's why I've developed this circuit. By the way, this circuit with the transistor works better. I don't know why, but that's the case. I've used here two um, silicon transistors in series to drop the voltage somewhat. Every transistor, oh sorry, every um, diode drops the voltage weighs approximately one. 0.7 volts. I've used a 1000 microfarad capacitor to drive the voltage somewhat up to get more storage capacitance capacity here in the in the electrolytic. And this is the resistor from 470 ohms, and that's in fact this resistor here, 470. The capacitor, 1000 microfarad, the two um, silicon diodes, and here is again the LED unit. I've now switched it to DC 10.6. I'm going up with the voltage now, uh, say 20. And it lights up much brighter, of course. Now I switch the pins to the AC. This is AC. And we also have a very bright uh, LED unit, LED array. And uh, this circuit is, of course, much sim uh, easier, simpler, simpler to make simpler to make because of the fact that we use only one resistor. has to be 10 watts, uh, gets warm or hot. But of course the, the good thing from this low tech circuit is that it uh, cannot break down because there are no semiconductors in it apart, of course, from the light emitting diodes. So, in an automotive application, perhaps this is a good circuit, because it's very simple, very easy to make. And you can, of course, experiment with the amount of LEDs, perhaps even with 10 LEDs or 12 LEDs, it also works and perhaps you have to adapt this resistor a little bit but uh, that doesn't have to be a problem